Magpies. I thought I would just pop on and show you this amazing new product from Magpie Beauty. So these are the full on tips. So these little beauties come in boxes of just over 500 and the tapered square come in sizes zero to nine and the almond come in sizes zero to 11. So fitting should be an absolute breeze for you. And these are a full coverage press on sculptless tip. They're made of premium ABS plastic and they act just like a gel. So these are super quick application and they've got slim side walls with a reinforced apex and free edge. So they're nice and strong for you. So these can be used with any professional system. So they're not just like any old press on, they are pro. So these are to be used with any acrylic or gel system. So I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to apply these today using the Magpie acrylic system and the Magpie Build Me Up gel system too. So I've, I'm using the Our Natural Core Acrylic Powder. It has to be a core acrylic powder that you apply these with as we need that strength powder in that apex to make them nice and strong. And I'm also going to be using the Low Odor Dream Monomer and the Build Me Up Builder Gel in Blush. So we'll be showing you how to apply with both systems. So we're gonna start by pushing our cuticle back and removing any long living tissue off the surface of the nail with our Magpie tool. Removing any dust pick up our 240 grit zebra file and file all over the nail to prep it. Okay, after dusting off again, we are now gonna apply our prep and dehydrate on a lint-free wipe, scrub each nail for 10 seconds and under the free edge. After that, we're gonna apply our acid primer ready for our application with acrylic. So now your nail is prepped and ready. We need to prep our tip. So these tips need to be prepped on the inside well, that where the contact area is with your natural nail. We do this so it aids adhesion. If you have an e-file, you can etch the inside of this nail tip with one of your bits. If you don't have an e-file, that's no problem. I'll show you a little bit further on in this video how to etch without one. So what we need to do now is to pre-thin this cuticle area out and the side walls. We do this just to help later on once we've applied this tip so it sits nice and flush on the nail. So I'm just using my 240 grit file um, just to etch that and thin it out slightly. So now that's all etched on the outside and around the cuticle, I'm just going to remove all of this dust on the inside where I've e-filed that nice etched surface in. So that is all prepped and ready to go. So we're going to be using the Magpie acrylic system today. I've got our natural powder and I'm going to be using our new low odor monomer, which is called Dream. Okay, so I'm going to dip my brush in and burp it, get all of those air bubbles out. And then I'm going to wipe it once along the side of the jar and we are going to go into our powder for two seconds. One two that is how much you need okay so that's just a little practice to show you so going in again wiping once into the powder one two and that is how much you need we're placing it in the apex and i am just patting that out very very lightly just around all of that etched area just a very very thin layer but most of it should stay in the apex area 
So we're gonna be rocking this tip on now. So it goes on and makes contact in the cuticle first, and then it is placed downwards towards the free edge. You will see it making contact with my natural nail there. There's no seepage and no leakage out of the cuticle or side walls. And there shouldn't be any under the free edge either. So that's how you know you've made contact properly. Just keep it pressed on for a couple of seconds, possibly a minute, just to keep that contact and that pressure on so we can make a good bond. That feels stuck now to my nail. Um, and you can see there's no seepage and there's no leakage around the edge. All of that product is sitting in the apex area of that tip. So you can see from the side view, it has a really nice profile. You can see your slightly raised apex area, which is gonna give your nail lots of strength. So as you can see, it's really nice and flush around the cuticle and side wall area because of our pre-prepping and the side walls look nice and straight so this feels really comfortable on my nail it doesn't feel tight or restrictive at all so from the barrel view you can see that there's a nice c curve there upper and lower arches are really straight and it's nicely parallel with my side walls so now onto the application with Magpie's Build Me Up in Blush. So like I promised you earlier, I'm just going to give you an alternative way to etch the inside of these full on tips. So you can use Magpie's stick on boards. So these are for the Magpie metal files and um, they come in straight and they come in boomerang. So this is the straight metal file here. So these pieces just peel off and stick onto those metal boards. They are disposable and they're just really handy because it's quite flexible. So what I normally do is I just cut a little piece of these, these flexible boards off and I will just stick it onto the end of something round. So like an old brush or brush lid and then you can etch the inside of the tip with that. So we're going to go ahead and etch the outside and thin that cuticle and side wall area out again so that's nice and flush when it's applied. So dust all of that off and now we are ready to apply our gel. So now that's all prepped, we are going to apply our gel in this well. So I'm going to use my size 4 gel brush and some blush build me up. So first of all, I'm going to apply a very thin layer to all of that etched area. So we're going to apply a small bead now in that apex area and we're just going to flatten it out and any excess just wipe in the cuticle area. So we're going to rock this from cuticle to tip just like we did with our acrylic so you have to make sure that you're applying it in the correct place and then just press that pressure down keep the pressure on with your other nail and i'm using my nifty little uv torch just to give that a little kind of cure before we can get it into the lamp. This just helps to keep it in place because it is gel and it won't fully cure until it's under the lamp. So this is that nail cured for 60 seconds. I didn't feel a lot of heat in that time because we used such a small amount of product. And as you know, the Build Me Up is baseless, so you don't need to apply a base first. Um, there's no leakage or seepage, as you can see, all the way around the cuticle and side walls and underneath. So they're really, really natural. Definitely give them a go. Nice and flush with the side walls. And if you want to give them a little buff too, and then polish them, I will show you what they look like when they've had a full makeover with some Belle Rouge.
So here's the finished set, Magpies. They have had two coats of Bella Rouge and a coat of Don't Be Tacky to finish. How shiny do they look? Very classic red, very chic. And I'm so happy with the shape of these. I think they look very natural and look like they've been sculpted. Um, they feel so strong and comfortable as well. So give them a go. They will be released very soon on Magpie's website. They will be available in boxes of over 500 in the almond and the tapered square. So I wish you all luck, master that technique and get going with these full on tips. So I will see you next time, Magpies. Bye.